What's up, y'all? Today we're back working on the YZ450 engine. We're gonna be finishing it up today. Gotta put the top end back together and throw some covers on it. If you guys missed the last video, definitely check it out. We rebuilt the bottom end of this engine and got it looking absolutely crazy. And we're gonna do the exact same with the top end too. So, hope you guys are ready. Let's jump right into it. So the main things we need to get done are clean up the cylinder and hone it out and also clean this up and rebuild the head. We're going to be installing all new intake and exhaust valves along with the springs and retainers and clips and all the seals. Got our shim kit right here and this is the kibble white spring kit. And these springs are specific for their stainless steel valves. So, since I'll be using the Kibble White stainless steel valves, which are a lot heavier than the titanium valves that come in the bike, that's why we need to change all of the springs as well so we don't have any valve float. So I won't get into a whole bunch of detail about that. You guys can look it up. But stock, this bike comes with titanium valves and springs for that. We're putting in the stainless steel valves with the stainless steel valve kit. And the main reason or benefit of using steel valves is that they're going to last a lot longer. And because this is a supermoto and it's going to be getting a lot of hours and a ton of miles, it's going to be good to have these valves in here. You won't have to adjust these valves as often. We have our JE piston right here. You'll see this thing later. It is beautiful. And Tokyo Mods already sent back the ECU. This was an incredibly quick turnaround. And I'll be talking about this ECU remap in a future video, but a lot to say about that and really cool stuff. And I got a big new bottle of Cerakote. So this is what I ordered originally. And this is what I got now. It's going to save me a lot. But I was waiting on this Cerakote to finish coating the ignition stator cover here. So this is going to be getting Cerakoted black and going to be finishing up this, powder coating it. I don't know. What are we going to do? Yellow? Blue? What do you guys think? You guys probably already saw from the thumbnail. <laughs>
we are officially back up in here at the Jack's shop. It's been weeks since I've worked on this engine, you guys, so it feels awesome to be wrapping it up right now. Let's jump right into putting the top end all together. Everything's clean and ready to go. It's gonna be freaking insane.
All right, it's official. The engine is finally done and it looks kick ass, you guys. It's actually in the bike right now, so I'll give you a little, a little taste. But uh, yeah, in the next video, I'll show you guys how I got that in there. And I only marked the engine in one spot, putting it in. I'll show you guys right now. So right here, there's a little chip. That was the only part that I marked up when putting the engine in the bike. And I'm not sure if anyone noticed it, but missing one bolt right here in the engine. So I just gotta buy a longer one and I'll put that in later, no big deal. This side is just stupid. And the truth is I could not be more stoked on how this engine came out. And also I know that inside of this, everything is 100%, haters gonna hate, but uh, this thing was built right with really nice components and it is solid and I'm confident in it. This was actually my first four stroke engine rebuild ever. So I learned a lot, really wasn't that difficult after rebuilding a two stroke, more or less the same with some extra parts. At this point, we are so close to finishing the bike. It's a matter of maybe two weeks and I'll be filming the reveal video and getting ready to raffle this bike off. So I'm getting really excited. In the next video, I'm going to be continuing with the assembly of the bike, getting almost all of it back together. I'm gonna to be bringing the bike to Jack's Moto, and they're gonna be wiring up all the lights, the fan, the key switch, all that cool stuff. And then I'll be putting the graphics kit on the bike. So you guys get ready to see the first start of this bike in the next video, along with it all naked in all black plastics and more or less 90% ready to go. And I just wanna give a quick thanks to all you guys who support the channel and follow along. A lot of you guys have been subscribing during this new build and are just coming to the channel. And it's been really cool to chat with some of you guys about the bike. You guys know the deal. Hit that like button, helps me out. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. And check me out on Instagram because I'm posting content daily over there. And YouTube recently has been more difficult. It's been taking me a long time to finish these videos. So if you want daily content, check out my Instagram, at Full Throttle Films. You guys take it easy, and we're gonna send it in the next video. Peace.